Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. One of the Belarusian opposition leaders, Maria Kolesnikova, has reportedly been detained at the border with Ukraine after what authorities described as an attempt to expel her from Belarus. A Ukrainian news agency reported the activist had deliberately ripped up her passport so that Ukrainian border officials would not be able to let her through. Ms. Kolesnikova was seen being bungled into a minibus by masked men on Monday. She is one of three women who joined forces to challenge President Alexander Lukashenko in August's election. Mass protests followed his re-election amid allegations of vote rigging. Authorities said more than 600 people were arrested on Sunday on the fourth consecutive weekend of anti-government demonstrations. The Chinese government has reported that Cheng Lei, an Australian journalist detained in China for weeks, is being held on national security grounds. Authorities say the business presenter from China Global Television Network is suspected of criminal activity endangering China's national security. She has been detained since August the 14th. Right. They, they knock on the door to say, uh, we are from the Beijing Department of the National Security. The announcement comes after the last two Australian journalists working in China flew home to Sydney after a five-day diplomatic standoff. To, uh... China and India have both accused each other of firing shots on their flashpoint Himalayan border in a further escalation of military tension between the two countries. Beijing's defence ministry accused India of severe military provocation, saying soldiers crossed the line of actual control in the western border region and opened fire to threaten Chinese border defence patrol officers. India replied, accusing Chinese border forces of blatantly violating agreements and intimidating their Indian rivals. A video by the Sri Lankan Air Force has showed firefighters battling fresh flames from a fully loaded oil supertanker off Sri Lanka days after an initial fire broke out on the vessel. A spokesperson for the Sri Lankan Navy said the reignition of the fire occurred on the right side of the vessel near the funnel at the rear and is not near the tanks carrying crude oil. Sri Lanka has deployed scientists and experts from its Marine Environment Protection Authority to assess the environmental damage caused by the fire. Disruption to the schooling system worldwide caused by the pandemic could result in a 1.5% drop in global economic output for the rest of this century. That's according to the OECD. Me. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development said the situation had widened gaps in educational opportunities between the rich and poor. The report suggested that schooling during the lockdown unveiled inequalities among youth, adding that teachers were not prepared for the new methods of teaching imposed by school closures. A Bolivian court has rejected a legal appeal by the former president Evo Morales, deeming him ineligible to run for a Senate position in an October election. According to the verdict, Mr. Morales cannot be a Senate candidate for his party because he does not meet the residency requirements. The former president, now living in exile in Argentina, stepped down last year after a disputed election sparked widespread protests. General elections are scheduled for October the 18th. In the United States, wildfires have burned through a record number of acres in California this year as firefighters continue to battle several large blazes across the state. Yeah, we copy. The state's Department of Forestry and Fire Protection says more than two million acres have burned. California is currently experiencing a record heat wave with Los Angeles County reporting its highest ever temperature of 49.4 degrees on Sunday. The authorities in Sudan are trying to protect the country's ancient pyramids from flooding as heavy rains have caused the nearby River Nile to reach record-breaking levels. The site is home to a host of ruins more than 2,300 years old. Countrywide, floods have killed nearly 100 people and made thousands homeless. The Nile regularly bursts its banks, but the extent of this year's flooding is considered very unusual by experts. And finally, visitors and staff at Thailand's Khao Kio Zoo have gathered to celebrate the 55th birthday of its senior hippopotamus resident, May Marley, with a special cake. May Marley, which translates to Mother Jasmine in Thai, is the country's oldest known hippopotamus and came out to sample the cake made out of colourful tropical fruit and vegetables as spectators sang happy birthday to her. 
And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel studios in Lagos.